in that sense, study the diagram. This diagram here. Now, this diagram is what we call magnetic field diagram. It is a diagram showing the attraction or the repairing of the magnetic field lines being produced by bar magnets. So these two here are to call bar magnets. This line you are seeing are to call magnetic field lines. Now the force of attraction or repairing being produced by a magnet is what we call magnetism. Magnetism is as a result of what we call the arrangement of the molecules and the electron based on Weber's theorem and domain theorem. Okay. Now let's go to our question that says name region R. This region here. Now that region is what we call neutral point. Why neutral point? Because the magnetic field lines have neutralized each other in simple terms. They have cancelled each other. Why cancelling each other? It is because of the first principle or law of magnetism that states that it, like charges or poles repel each other, while unlike poles or charges attract each other. Meaning for them to repel each other, then these poles are the same. Meaning if here there is north, if here there is north. Here there is south, if here there is south. That's the actual meaning here for them to repel each other. So question 2 is saying, if P is a south pole, what poles are S and T? Okay, now they are saying if P here it is what is south pole. Okay, what could be for S and T? Okay, now you need to understand that a magnet is made up of two poles. If this is south, then this is what is, this is north. Meaning even this has to be north. Why? Because if they have repelled each other. Meaning north here, even this one north. If this is north, then this is what is south there. So this is how you're supposed to answer.